Hey guys, <clears throat> so I was trying to figure out an interesting video that I could do that wasn't like a haul video or a an informative review video because I know those are good but um, I don't know sometimes it's good to change it up a little bit and I was trying to think of what to do and I actually came up with this idea um, because well first of all we're getting close to the end of the year and I noticed that like some of um, the people who have commented on my videos have talked about, you know, so sad such and such didn't come back this year. Um, there's a few cents that I'm sad didn't come back this year. Well, I guess one um, in particular. Uh, and then I know Bath and Body Works. I just heard some news from Bath and Body Works that they're discontinuing some of their um, three of their signature collection fragrances. The, let's see, it's Wild Madagascar Vanilla, in case you haven't heard, Wild Ma Madagascar Vanilla, Velvet Sugar, those two I'm like, eh, I don't know, I could live without them, um, and then Cashmere Glow, which that, I'm really bummed about that because Cashmere Glow is my favorite body care to use for the winter just because it's so warm and cozy. Um, so... Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm I'm kind of not surprised about the three of those fragrances. But anyway, so in honor of our friends, our fragrances that we have lost along the way, I have decided to put together this video. And this is going to be uh, strictly home fragrance. I may do one for body care. I'll, I'll have to see about that, um, what I can put together on it. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, th these are fragrances that were out for maybe, a, a, they were out for a season. Maybe they made it to two. One of them possibly made it to three seasons. But I don't, I can't remember for sure. Um, and yeah, so these are ones that like I hear people talk about quite a bit. And not all of them I would can say I would say that you know I'm just devastated that it that they're gone but I did want to include some other some scents in here that other people are probably gonna be like yeah you know I'm I'm very sad that I can't get that anymore so I hope that you know this um, this doesn't make you too sad by reminding you but Misery loves company and we can all lament together, right? <laughs> uh, okay, so without further ado, let's see what I have put together. All right, so first up, I have Banana Nutmeg Bread Pudding. This was um, 2014 uh, fall and the description is a scrumptious new spin on the traditional bread pudding recipe. Creamy banana, freshly grated nutmeg, and brown sugar are mixed into a sweet indulgence. So this is one, I was actually surprised that I like this. I'm not a big fan of banana, but um, I decided to get this because I thought, you know, actually, I had gone into the store and they were smelling it, smelling it, they were burning it, and I really liked the scent. So I picked one of these up in a mason jar, and I do actually like this one. I'm not... Like, oh my God, I've got to have, you know, a ton of them. I don't feel like I needed to stock up on this, but I do recognize that this is a good scent. And yeah, the cult following on this um, is is upset that it is gone. So um, it's lovely. I mean, it's like a creamy banana scent. It smells like banana pudding to me. It's like, maybe there's a little bit of spice, but it's good. I will, um, I will admit that. So rest in peace, banana nutmeg bread pudding. Okay, next up, what is this one? This is an old one. I think, um, yeah, it's not one, again, that I'm like, oh man, I wish I had more. But I know that there are other people who are sad that this is gone. This is cinnamon nut bread. bread. And I almost said cinnamon nut meg bread pudding uh, <laughs> but um, this one says a warm and comforting warm and comforting on a cold fall day fresh baked shortbread with cinnamon buttercream 
and chopped nuts. Uh, everybody who owned this candle or smelled this candle knew that this is actually a banana nut bread scent. So this, it's similar to uh, this other one over here, BNBP, but this has more of like that, I guess, a caramel kind of note, like, I don't know how to describe it. Maybe, you know, maybe they're not so different after all. It's been a long time since I've burned this one and I've hesitated to burn it because I just love the looks of it so much. Um, I love this, this label. It looks delicious, but yeah, there's been, there've been some people who, um, are sad about this one because, um, I don't know, banana nut bread is kind of a staple fragrance for some candle companies. And the fact that Bath and Body Works doesn't have one is kind of surprising. So, and I don't even remember what year this was. Was this 2012 maybe? I can't remember, sorry. Anyway, rest in peace, cinnamon nut bread, AKA banana nut bread. Next up, um, oh, I, you know, there's no method to this. I, I should have put these in some kind of order, but I didn't. This one is viewable, so I'll go ahead and talk about this. This is Cider Donut. This was a 2013 release. And the description is, indulge in the fragrance of a beloved baked treat with a blend of freshly picked apples, a cake donut, and a hint of cinnamon. So this... I think, I want to say that this is identical to apple crumble. Some people would probably argue with me about that. Um, but yeah, it was out for one season and it's, it's very nice. It is, it's good. Um, I did have the opportunity to get more on sale. I passed just because I found it so close to apple crumble, but if it's the same, there actually are a lot of people who miss apple crumble as well. And I do see this one. I do see people talk about wanting cider donut to come back. It's a nice spiced apple bakery kind of scent. It's probably my favorite or maybe my second favorite like cinnamon apple bakery scent. It's somewhere in the top two. I do like it. So, um... Yeah, it was sad to see this one go. And I actually really loved the labels on this collection. This was, I think they called it like the silver leaf line or something like that. So yeah, very sad. Rest in peace, a cider donut. From that same year, same collection, we have Applewood Bonfire. And this says, Warm up to the cozy scent of an autumn bonfire. Apples, crackling bark, and fresh cut wood. Now, some people might disagree with me on this one. This was not an overall um, a well-accepted scent by many people, but I know that there were a few that, that really liked it, and I really liked it. I wish I had picked up a second one. Um, it is... It's so unique. You really get that apple that's in here, but you also get that bonfire scent. Um, it's nice if you, like if you think that fireside is too overwhelming, this would, but you kind of still like, you know, scents along those lines, you would probably like this one. It's, I don't know, it's just so cozy. It's, and different. It's very nice. So rest in peace, Applewood Bonfire. Then we have from the Parisian collection. Uh, this came out in 2012, I think. This is Sweet Macaron. Um, this is one of my personal, like really sad to see it go. So treat yourself to an irresistible scent inspired by an unforgettable French cookie. Raspberry jam, almond extract, vanilla cream, and a hint of lemon. This is just so delectable for me. You do get um, like the almond and the raspberry and a touch of lemon, but then you also get this beautiful creamy 
kind of scent. Um, it's kind of similar to, and this is another one, I don't have it, but I did want to mention it, the Raspberry Peach Macaron, which I, I kind of thought was a combination of this and Vanilla Bean Noel. That was one that was out for one season and then it was gone and they never brought it back, which surprised a lot of people. Uh, yeah, so this is kind of its predecessor. This is what that would smell like to me without that, that kind of, um, what is it? To me, Vanilla Bean Noel smells a little bit powdery. It's like a creamy powdery vanilla scent. And this smells like raspberry peach macaron without that component to it. So very nice, very sad that, you know, this one didn't stick around and rest in peace, sweet macaron. Yes, I'm gonna say that for all of them, <laughs> just in case you're wondering. And I don't care if you don't like it. Okay, next up we have French Baguette. This is the scent of a crispy golden baguette fresh from the bakery celebrates one of the greatest culinary treasures of Paris. And this one actually did make it a little bit beyond this line. There's another packaging of this that I think they, when was this released? I think this was released in the summer. And then they had another packaging that went through the fall, but then once the fall was over, it just kind of disappeared. Um, this is a great, great French bread type of smell. Um, it is definitely that crusty bread. There's no butter note in this. It just smells like French bread that has like, they've just put out at the store. Um, yeah, there are other fresh baked bread scents out there. Um, Village has one that's more buttery. Kringle has a fresh baked bread scent that is pretty good, but from what I understand, it's not very strong. And Yankee does not have a French bread scent that I can remember. So this was like a very, this was probably the most accessible to, you know, any candle purchaser um, and very strong. So it's, it's sad that this one was not able to stick around, but anyway, so rest in peace, French baguette. All right, next up. Oh, this is an old one. Actually, you know what? I'm going to talk about that one later because the last five that I have here, five or six or so, are like the ones that I'm lamenting the most, and that one's one of them. Um, okay, so since this is up, this was recently mentioned, last year's pumpkin sugar donut, and the fragrance is fill your home with the fragrance of freshly baked pumpkin donut made with autumn sugar and spice and everything nice. Ooh, what the heck happened there? I just put my face to the lid and the lid is like full of, I don't know what that is. Uh, yuck. Um, yeah, so this is a very, very nice sugary pumpkin bakery scent. Different from all the other pumpkin bakeries out there. Um, it's sugary is what you get and some people have said this smells like cinnamon sugar donut with pumpkin spice added. I think that's a pretty fair um, approximation of the, the scent of this candle. It's very strong, uh, just delicious. And I recently mentioned that if you're looking for a replacement for this, this past fall Kohl's had pumpkin donut in their Sonoma line, and it smells nearly identical to this one. So um, I recommend that as a, a replacement if you can still find it. I'm not sure that it's still available, but anyway. So rest in peace, pumpkin sugar donut. Then we have, an, this is an oldie. Ooh, I think this is 2011. 
Caramel Apple. This is caramel apple, brown sugar, and creamy caramel are blended with Anjou pear, nutmeg, and vanilla cream. So this was the like original um, kind of caramel apple scent before Cider Lane, AKA Warm Caramel Cider. And this, some people have said, it's a different kind of caramel apple. It almost doesn't smell like caramel apple. It's, I would say like a twist. The apple scent in this is a green apple, and there's definitely a brown sugar. It's tart, and there's a brown sugar note to this. Um, this is just amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I have one other backup in this, and I don't know how long this stuck around. I know... It was out, it was out at least a couple of seasons. It was out at least two. So, oh, and you know what? I never mind. Um, yeah, so I really missed this one. And so then, like, there was Cider Lane that came after that, which to me, Cider Lane was more of a kind of typical caramel apple scent. And it almost smelled like it had some sugar cookie added to it. So, um, it's a little bit different from this, but yeah, I don't know now that Cider Lane, AKA Warm Caramel Cider is gone. I'm not really sure like what Bath and Body Works is going to do for a, a good replacement for this. So, or for that, the caramel apple type scent. So rest in peace, caramel apple. You were loved. Okay. Now we're getting on to the heavy hitters for me. And these two I'm showing together because I'm pretty sure that they are the same scent. This is Cotton Candy and this is Pink Petal Tea Cake. So Cotton Candy says, spun sugar and vanilla bean blend deliciously with a hint of sweet tangerine. Pink Petal Tea Cake says, tea for two becomes even sweeter with a fragrance of Pink Petal Tea Cake made from garden rose petals, freshly baked cake, and vanilla glaze. Uh, let me give them a sniff. Yes. Nice. I think they're the same. I really do. So this one, Cotton Candy was out in 2010. I think that's what this is showing. Uh, and it didn't get much attention. I managed, I picked up one. Actually, it did get attention, but only because it had drowning wicks. It had the puny wick syndrome like mad for some people. For a lot of people. And I I picked one up um, and I burned it. And I actually didn't have any trouble with mine for whatever reason. So when they went on, and I love this. And I tried to tell people, the scent is great. You have to, like, just keep burning it or melt it down. Put it on your candle warmer. The scent is fabulous. Uh, and this was, I guess, on Bath & Body Works Facebook page at the time. And so... I managed to pick up two other ones at the semi-annual sale. They were 75% off. So I got two more and was kind of hoarding them. Um, loved it. And then I didn't immediately realize it, but in 2000, I don't know when this, was this 2014? Yeah, I think it was. So this came out and yeah, I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. And then put the pieces together. This, this was cotton candy. Um, and ex I think it did pretty well. And people expected this to come back. I know there were some people like going mad trying to find this at the semi-annual sale uh, at one point. And it was, there was, were a, there was like some rumors that it was going to come back for a semi-annual sale, I think the next season. And some people found it, but I think it was just because their store had some leftovers. So I was really surprised that this one didn't come back um, this year. And yeah, it's sad. I feel bad because, um, I mean, I'm, I'm okay. I have this and two cotton candies left. So I'm good for a little while. But yeah, I would suggest... I wish I could suggest Yankees cotton candy in place of it, but the throw on that one has not been that 
that great. So rest in peace, pink petal tea cake slash cotton candy. All right, these are the hard ones, guys. These are the hard ones. So this one, black pepper bergamot. Intricate layers of spicy black pepper combined with uplifting bergamot and lavender in a fragrance inspired by false changeable days. This is my favorite cologne type scent ever. Um, and it's because it's like a clean peppery scent. It's very, to me, it's very, very upscale. This is what like my fantasy guy would smell like. Rich, good looking, good sense of humor, nice, you know, got it all. This is what he would smell like. <sighs> I love this. Yeah, it's that peppery note. Um, I thought this one was gonna come back. This was a 2012, I think. I thought it was coming, oh, it did come back in 13. I thought it was gonna stick around, so I didn't pick one up in 13. And then when it didn't come back in 14, I was like, oh shit. And I ended up ordering one off of eBay. So, um, cause I was like, I have to have backup of this. Anyway, sorry for the S word. Uh, but anyway, recom uh, recommend this if you come across this. So rest in peace, black pepper bergamot. Okay. <laughs> This one goes pretty far back to, this is 12. Toasted Pistachio Delight. So Bath & Body Works did a line of three candles that were based on recipes that people submitted. And it was um, Sticky Toffee Pudding, which I loved and I, have, I had two of those. I have one left now, which it's a pretty good scent, although I'm, I don't know. I'm not like upset about it being on frosted tangerine cake, which was the same as Island Colada. And I hated those scents and then toasted pistachio delight. So this one is toasted pistachios and almonds blend perfectly for a delicious indulgence with notes of zesty orange, brown sugar, and creamy vanilla. Oh, and this is one that has a strong connection to my memory. Um, I, I link it to a specific holiday season. In fact, it was 2012. Um, it's to me, this smells so authentic and it's just like a rich, creamy, nutty kind of scent. It's not, um, I know some people will know pistachio pudding cake from independent vendors. Uh, it does not smell like that. That is a heavy syrupy, very, very sweet kind of scent, and it's good, but this, I would still pick this any day over that scent if I had to choose, because this smells way more authentic. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. So, in fact, I had heard, what was it? The malted pistachio truffle that was a White Barn exclusive last year? I thought may have been a repackage of this, but I could not get anybody to confirm that because apparently nobody else has smelled this one. So um, if you've smelled both of them, let me know. All right, rest in peace, toasted pistachio delight. Okay, next up. This is winter white petals from last year. An elegant bouquet of sheer florals, soft white cashmere musk, and a hint of holiday greenery. This is one, the first time I smelled it in the store, I was like, huh, something about, the, there's something about this that I like. But then I kept picking it up. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. And there were so many other things that I wanted that I just kind of left it. I ended up getting a wallflower in it. I plugged the wallflower in and completely fell in love. I went back to the store to go get this, gone. Uh, and it was gone online. And that was it. Like I had to pick up some more wallflowers. Well, I was just really upset. Um, 
I heard people say that the throw was light, so I was trying to console myself by, you know, that way. And then last semi-annual sale, it was like in the middle of the sale, I went in one day and they had two of these sitting on the 50% off shelf. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God. So I grabbed one, uh, checked out, and like my order, I forgot, I had like a gift card or something with a balance on it. So I paid for the order partially. I paid for the purchase partially with that gift card. So I didn't realize what the actual price of this was until I got home. It was 75% off. I said, I'm going back to get the second one. By the time I got there, it was gone. And I asked the girl, she's like, yeah, we only got six of them in and they flew off the shelf. Bath and Body Works, why? Why? This sold out online way before the $8 candle sale. This sold out in my store. It flew off the shelves during semi-annual season. Why is this not back in your store this year? Why? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like, I don't understand. It's amazing. This is a beautiful perfumey scent with like a hint of a greenery note. And yeah, you get that like, like Christmas floral. And I know some of you don't like floral, but I think you would like this. I'm, I'm really, really sad to see this one gone. So rest in peace, winter white petals. Lasted a whole season. Another one that lasted a whole season was hydrangea. This is a fresh blend of dewy hydrangea leaves, peony petals, and summer apricot with a touch of sheer musk. This is probably my favorite floral scent for the spring. I don't know quite how to describe it. It smells like there's a little bit of like verbena, if you know verbena waters. There's a little bit of that in here. What year was this? This was 2010. This was another one that like disappeared off of the shelves in my store, like not long after they put it out. I went back to get another one and they were gone. Um, it's, there's a little bit of, like I said, a verbena, citrus, but there's also a beautiful floral scent. And I was, um, very happy to, when I discovered Goose Creek's Sunset Sparkle is almost the same scent as this. So I now thankfully have some a backup. And I do have two more wallflower bulbs in this that I'm hanging on to. So um, yeah, if you miss this one and Sunset Sparkle, is that still around? Uh, you'll probably be happy um, to replace this one with Sunset Sparkle. So I recommend checking that out. So rest in peace, Hydrangea. Oh, I'm going to save this one for last. This is vanilla spice. It's aromatic cinnamon is blended with whipped vanilla, spiced orange peel, balsam, and a hint of cherry. Okay. So this one, I think also 2010, maybe, um, I actually picked this up in a test store. I was um, on my way to Austin and I stopped, we stopped in Houston at the Galleria because at the time the Bath and Body Works in the Galleria was a test store. And so I was able to get this before it was released and just loved it. Um, it did eventually show up at my local store, but the quantity was very limited and it was really strange because it seemed like it was like at the end of the season. And I was thinking about getting another one. And then like when I was in the store, there was a woman there and she ended up grabbing the last one that the store had. So um, it's very nice. If you're familiar with the scent Spice, which is now called Holiday, it's like that, but with vanilla added to it. So it's much, much creamier. This is another beautiful scent that I just can't understand why it didn't stick around. I'd love to see it come back. So rest in peace, Vanilla Spice. And then this is one I hear so many people wish that this were still around. And this is Winter Garland. So this says a sparkling blend of cranberry champagne and blood orange with notes of balsam, mandarin, and white cedar. So this was, I think it released as a test scent this was 2010. 
This released as a test scent the year before, but like there was no buzz about it. Um, I don't really remember the details about it. I remember we had, so Baton Rouge had a white barn attached to the Bath and Body Works. And I remember seeing this in the white barn in like the four ounce size, but I smelled it and I passed on it for whatever reason. Well, the next year, I, once again, this was the same time I was in the Houston store. I smelled this and I was like, wow, that's amazing. And so I grabbed it. Um, it went, it ended up going wide. Um, it came back the next year. I only got one and I got some wallflowers. It came back the next year. So I thought I'm good. Don't need to stock up on this for right now. And then that was it. The next year was the last year that it was out. And this one has another, it's also has a special place in my heart. Um, it brings back memories for me. Um, I was finishing graduate school when this was released. And so this kind of reminds me of that time period from like transitioning from, you know, being a student to, you know, going out into the real world. And, ah, oh, this is amazing. Why is this not still around? You get like that balsam pine spruce kind of scent, the green Christmas tree with, I guess it's the cranberry, but it's, it's not a tart cranberry. It's not a sweet cranberry. Well, maybe it's a little bit tart and sweet. It's the perfect cranberry to me. And like some spices, some citrus. It's just, it's perfect. So uh, this is one that I recommend. If you have been thinking about, if you can find this on eBay and you've been thinking about getting it, do it. You will most likely not regret it. So anyway, all right, so that's it. I hope that um, you guys enjoyed, oh, by the way, rest in peace, Winter Garland. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And like I said, it didn't make you too sad, but you know, we can all have a moment of silence for our dearly departed fragrances. And um, yeah, I don't know. I can only hope they brought back um, Peppermint Marshmallow after a hiatus. They brought back Fireside after a hiatus. So maybe we'll see these come back. And if I happen to detect that a newly released scent is one of these, I will be yelling it from the rooftops so <laughs> all right well i hope you guys enjoyed this um it was a lot of fun to you know kind of look at these and smell them and talk about them and reminisce so um i enjoyed i enjoyed making this video and i hope you enjoyed watching thanks as always bye